scary. My friend uh, works in Texas in news, and he posted video of, of hail, like this wow. big in some places. That's destructive. That could hurt, Oof. too. Yeah. Uh, no hail around here. We're not looking at any tornadoes, but we are looking at maybe some strong winds later in the day, maybe gusting to 60 miles an hour, certainly enough to cause some power outages. Here's the timeline. Uh, rain, heaviest of which will be late in the afternoon, especially during the evening. Heavy rain this evening, one, two inches total from here on out. Easterly gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour, especially this evening hours. The winds pick up uh, through the afternoon with the strongest of the winds early this early to mid evening, say from like 5 to 9 p.m. On Thursday, it's still going to be pretty windy, not as windy as it'll be later today, but we are looking at some lighter precipitation, maybe some snowflakes mixing in with the rain. Might be a couple wet snowflakes in uh, higher elevations of Rhode Island right now, northwest of Providence. You can see that rain beginning to work its way right right into the Providence metro area. Looks like the west side of Providence seeing rain, the east side, not quite yet, but you will soon. Here's Narragansett. We've been looking at this rain shower activity down here for about an hour now. We'll continue to see it through much of the day. Look at the city of Providence and looks dry from that perspective. Here's Block Island. You can see how the rain has been moving in over the last uh, well half hour or so. And it's getting a little windy as well. Our threat tracker for this morning, no big impacts today from the weather, at least this morning, but in the afternoon, that's when we'll be seeing some of the biggest impacts. Steadier rain arriving, a little heavier toward the evening commute, wind strengthening, gusting to 40. But for this evening, gust 50, maybe 60 miles an hour, especially near the south coast. Again, total rainfall, maybe one, two inches of rain. So we got a high wind warning for south coast of Rhode Island, Massachusetts, wind advisory farther inland where the winds won't be as strong, but certainly strong enough to cause some isolated outages. The wind gust forecast, this is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, gusting 37 in Newport, 51 in Block Island. Then it really ramps up toward the evening commute, gusting 43 in Newport, 60 out on Block Island, 8.30 this evening. I think this is uh, probably the worst of this storm with the heavy rain and the wind gusting between 45 and maybe 60 miles an hour or so out toward Block Island, gusting close to 40, 50 miles an hour in the Providence area. Then the winds ease a little bit after midnight, but still kind of windy tomorrow. And for tomorrow morning around the high tide, which is like four or five o'clock in the morning, there could be some coastal flooding as well. So multifaceted storm on the way or already here. Temperatures are in the upper 30s, low 40s right now. Now we're looking at this storm. It's down here, West Virginia, Virginia, a lot of rain down here. This low will We'll be tracking right off to our south as we go through the uh, latter part of the day today and tonight. So waves of rain through the morning and early afternoon, maybe some lulls, but then the heavy rain arriving for the evening. Uh, the winds really picking up as well. The heaviest of the rains gone by 3 a.m. tomorrow, but we're looking at really windy conditions. And as we go into your Thursday, some lighter precipitation, maybe mixing with a little bit of wet snow at times and still kind of windy uh, into at least the morning tomorrow. Friday, maybe just a spot shower, but we'll have lots of clouds. Here's your seven day forecast, and we're looking at that light mix for Thursday. Wet snowflakes mixing in with some light rain on Friday, a spot shower, a few showers possible later Saturday. Then we finally begin to dry out a little bit. Monday and Tuesday looking good. Sunshine, upper 50s to around 60. WPRI.com, the Pinpoint Weather 12 app.